Hi, I'm Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Norm, we are here at CS 2012 Sony booth. Uh, what did we just see? My Coven Factor meter, so high, 4K projector. You were drooling at one point oh during this. Oh my goodness. Interview. We couldn't take the camera inside to actually uh, shoot, obviously, nothing to shoot. Let's paint um, some high definition, word pictures. ultra definition word pictures. Word pictures. Uh, 4K projector. What this means is about roughly four times the resolution. I think 4096 by 2160 resolution. Uh, this uses an LCOS sensor. It's Sony's proprietary one. Uh, yeah. We don't care. It doesn't don't care matter. About technology. Doesn't what we matter. care about is that it's $25,000. Yeah. It's actually a lot bigger than projector than I thought. It's right behind us. Typical home projector, but of course Sony says one third the size of what you find well, in a movie theater and much quieter. Projecting 4K because uh, we couldn't hear it at all. Yeah, movie theater the projector. projectors have to be in a separate room. There's glass. Yes. They make a lot of noise. This doesn't. Yeah. But if, really, what matters is what it looks like, mm -hmm. uh, and it looks really incredible. So the the demo reel that we saw was three parts. First is an upscaled 1080p Blu-ray. The experience that most people are going to get, at least for right now. Right. There is no real 4K content that you can buy for the home. No. What you got to do is get 1080p Blu-ray content. Yeah. Not convert it. There's an upscaler in the projector. Sony's Blu-ray players, you other Blu-ray players, will upscale. We saw a Sony movie, so. Always Sony movies. It really, yes. really good. So it was the, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo tra trailer, the David Fincher version. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a couple places you could see a little bit of extra noise uh, from the upscaling. Daniel Craig's stubble, uh, a yeah. little, little bit noisy. Yeah. The water toward the end of that trailer, there was a little tiny bit of noise. If they hadn't said it was 1080p upscaled, I, I don't think I could have told like if you without watching walls, it. Like if you walls, like in the gradients, None, no compression uh, artifacts. Uh, Drew, Drew noticed some text aliasing was the other text thing. Text aliasing, hair, yeah. face, the face stuff looked really good. The, the hair was great, stubble a little bit noisy, but it could have also been uh, film grain from the movie. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know uh, how, how, how grainy it we is. We did see it on a 182 inch screen. Big screen. I don't know what the pixel density is there, but it's a lot. Yeah, it's really, um, probably, it's, basically, it's not home theater. It really it is looked a, like a theater, theater experience. Yeah. Well, right. 4K is what most theaters project at, so it is a theater experience. Uh, okay, after that, uh, we saw some 4, uh, well, still, 8 megapixel still still stills. Still photography. Yeah. So yeah, with 4K, you get 8.8 8 million pixels. Yeah. So about 8 megapixel photos. And the photos, I thought, were kind of tricky because like the first photo we saw, it was leaves. Yeah. So leaves naturally have different colored fringes. Yes. And so with the fringing colors, you can't tell whether it's accurate, color accurate. There was a little bit of noise in the images that could have just been a glitch. I mean, obviously, this is all pre-production hardware, so yeah. And also, the photos bear. were 16 by 9, while the video was saw with the, CinemaScope. You mean the, the photos were 4 by 3? 4 by 3 in the videos, yeah. they stretched it out different mode. Yeah. So while it's 4K, it's not always exactly, exactly. that aspect ratio. Exactly. And then the last video we oh saw my God. was a trailer for the new Spider-Man movie, which is shot now, with the red Epic cameras. Were you able to actually watch the, the, for the video quality, or were you just watching Spider-Man? I've seen the trailer a dozen okay. times. Okay. And I'd never seen it like that. It before. looks really good. You um, know what it did? It actually made the CG more CG, you know, more apparent. Than I know it was CG. the legs. Yeah. In that first-person Mirror's Edge type uh, yeah. scene, the legs looked actually lower resolution than the rest mm -hmm. of the scene. Looked really, really good in 4K. But now, like, because they also shot with a digital camera, and those digital cameras, the low light yeah. isn't as great as film yeah. cameras yet. Like the stuff when Spider-Man's running through the alleyway. You could tell it was shot with a digital camera, definitely grain there. But for the indoor yeah, shots, definitely. the bright shots. The, the, the suit, the tail on the suit and that tease at the end, yes. really, really impressive. Um, I, I'm really excited about this. I don't know that I have 25 grand for projector crash 20, 2012. I but I want it um, so I, I've never wanted badly. anything more, yeah. Yeah, what they should have done, obviously they didn't do, is put it next to a 1080p tr projector. I've seen tw plenty yeah. of 720p projectors. Seen plenty some 1080 ones, projectors. never on a 182 inch. No. I, I assume it'd be worse. This looked like what you'd see in a movie theater. It looked, and then and I was, we were sitting in the front row also, oh, yeah. where it would be the worst possible experience, and it was still incredible. So, so dark in there. Yeah. I'm sold on 4K projectors. I can't wait to see it on a 4K LCD or... Well, the other thing I gotta say is it all depends on the upscaler. I think Sony's done a good job here. The nice thing about 1080p is there's enough pixels that you can't actually upscale. It's not like 480p where, you're, where like you have no data. It's not like 480 to 720 right. or 480 to 1080. No. Of course, this is difference. the most controlled environment we could ever see That's definitely true this here. projector in. It's not for me and you. It's for the guy who can build the Starship Enterprise. This is a 1%. Yes, this is yeah. truly a 1% device. It's a massive 4K projector. It looks like the Eye of Sauron. This I, is intended for it. you to work harder. Make more money, Chan. Mm -hmm. I accept it as a gift, too. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Till next time, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later.